Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's see how I look. Ooh, I really gotta do different laundry. Because the thing is that I have like six shirts and I just keep rewashing the same six shirts. I've worn this once a week for like a month and a half now. I gotta, I gotta, gotta up the laundry game. However, however, very excited because I'm gonna play some Hearthstone. And I think we're just gonna start right off with the Mill Road. Actually, what are, what are my quests, man? What are my quests? I'm not quite sure what I want to play at this point in time. Tactician? I'm not gonna play Warrior today. Maybe we'll play Warrior today. I don't know. This is a popular deck. May as well give it a shot. TV Scum says, are you not using our subs to buy new shirts? The problem is that I, I own shirts. I just need to stop washing the same shirts. Is the issue at hand? Valir versus Uther. I will fight with honor. What? All right, I don't want any of these. I don't want any of these. All right. Got to work on this deck a little bit. Got to work on it. Y'all doing? I'm actually gonna move my mouse cursor way the hell forward. All right, how the hell do we adjust this thing? How do we adjust this thing, dude? How on earth in the hell are you? How are you this fine day? How the hell are you? Things good in my life, dude. Things are good in my life. I actually woke up 7:30 today. Felt good. Felt very positive to me. Right, it's always good to see you, man. So we don't really have any information about him. I Here think I do want to whack him. By the way, Despy's been a little out of control. Despy's been a little out of control. Winter is here. Ah, corpse took her. Alright, so this is probably going to be the most effective way to deal with this, right? But also pop and sweet, but I think I'm going to wait a turn on this. Do you guys love the power hot emotes? <laughs> this beat! I'll cut some down the size. Well, we have some problems here. Need the draw. Oh, woke up early. Got a lot of stuff done. Feeling very positive about life in general. Just having a relaxing day, man. Draw a fan of knives. Let's just end his life real, real soon. Okay. So I think I will want to hit this guy. I don't want to run Valunar down yet. Want to wait a little bit more, Mill Rogue? Yeah. Kind of want to switch. Still need to make an Archbishop deck. I don't really know what I want to build right now. You know, I've been playing this deck a lot. I might I might switch it up. I might switch it up pretty soon. Pretty soon here. Alright, well, I have the ways to deal with this. Sort of built in. Actually, here's what I'm gonna do. There we go.
Alright. Oh no. The menagerie is for guests only. Get I'm just talking to Witty Adrian right now, man. Witty Adrian's the best. Yeah, you like my typing APM? I type so fast. You see me play text twist? I'm the king of that shit. I am text twist. I anagram like it's nobody's business. Except for my own. I run a business in anagramming. It's not a very profitable business. But I run it. It is mine. Well, let's go ahead and draw for... I think close to a billion. One, two. I don't think he has any one mana manor cards that I need to worry about. Two. My hand is too full. Great. Sweet Valera next turn. That'll be good. Still have these guys. Probably don't want to run out this. See ya. This used to be a text twist stream. That's right. Rob typing is particularly loud today. Well, it's because Rob's just, you know. He's on his Tuesday. He's doing his work, too. Mm-mm-mm. Need to get some water, man. I tried to do the reset sleep schedule trick. The light's justice has failed. So I die? Is that it? I die to that right there? I think that's it. I think I'm dead, literally. I need to draw a glacial shard Here if I want to live. Go. Because he kills me in two turns with this thing. Uh-oh. No, not today, Despy. If you want me to bring strings, you gotta bring them closer. You gotta come to this side. So we're, we're pretty much dead. I mean, the frozen throne. This thing is 15 points of damage. Is so much, man. Winter is here. Corpse took her. This card's pretty sweet. Okay. Death was me. All right, a very large cat. So we're going to have to rely on Shadowcaster to get the other thing that we want to have. Oh, that's a good. That's a good. Alright. I fucked up. I needed to cast Preparation first. Well, dicks. Hmm. Do this dirty one to buy us a turn. Heal up a bit. Seems okay. Kinda don't want to play this deck anymore. I've been playing it like almost exclusively the last few days. The frozen throne. 
Can Glacial Shard freeze the enemy hero? Oh yeah. Bet your butt it can. Sneezy guy, I'm a very sneezy guy. Have you been playing Frostlich Jaina decks? I actually have not. I've not really played any Frostlich Jaina. Have you been playing any Frostlich Jaina, Sheriff? Frostmorn calls. Hello. Do you want to tell me a secret? No, we're just interested in the coffee. This is my coffee. You have a very sweet little face. What do you think's in here? Let's let's turn your head sideways. Let's investigate it from different angles. Here, let me hold it a little close. Yeah, yeah, it's a little a little scary. This coffee. <laughs> better better lick. Better lick. Despy's in the most playful mood and Sheriff's not. Utopia Fox says, oh, I get to use this emote. Genuinely, I passed the Danish police school's physical test today, and it's a tough one. Hell yeah, congratulations. I'm dead. You know, I'm not going to play this deck anymore. I just don't really want to play it. What deck are we doing? kind of want to make a mid-range hunter. I, I, I hear Big Priest is super cool. I hear Big Priest is hilarious and fun. See if I get this one right. Runs two of these. It runs Y Shard J. It runs Lich King. It runs two Obsidian Statues. It runs the Shadow Essence. Does it run this? I think it might run this. I mean, that is a huge card. I think it should run two of these. It runs two of these. What? What are the other? What are the other huge ones? Oh yeah, barns. Of course, we get our barns in there. Shadow words. That's right. Shadow word. Pain death. Do I do this one? I don't know. I don't know. Primordial Drakes and Free From Amber. Primordial Drakes would be good. We want to have our huge Tontos. Let's see here. Hmm. Ysarin Barnes and Monster Reborn? What's Monster Reborn? At least one set of Pine Size and Shadow Word Horror. Is that is this really that good? Never felt that good to me. Never been a big fan of that shit. Oh, yes, Sarah, that's a good one. Uh, well, I'm forgetting some obvious ones. I think like probably uh, ouch. Um, what the hell does this deck run? I think it runs like one Silence. So that way I can just summon from Barnes and silence it and make it huge again. Oh yes, Shadow Visions. Shadow Visions. Boom. 
So we can get more huge things to discover a spell from your deck. Uh, die and upgrade dragon fire potions. Upgrade dragon fire potions. Uh, Potion of Madness. Definitely want that. See, I actually don't like the pint sized potion Shadow Word Horror combo. I, I actually really don't like it at all. I just don't think it, it goes off that much. Uh, I want to have 25 left. Do I have the Lich King in there? Good. Primordial Drakes. I feel like I'm forgetting some something really obvious. No, well, seems fine. Can I have healing? Maybe one healing? Maybe I just want the dudes. What are just some insane legendaries? There we go. Uh, let's see here. Is this good? That's probably not that good. I kind of want end of turn effecty guys or death rattle guys. Yeah, that's pretty tight. Let's do this. That seems tight. I like that one. Okay. Um, so, all we really need is to stay alive in the early game. So I think that I'm going to do Shadow Madness. That I mean, I'm a huge fan of this card. I think everyone knows that. Maybe it's just some Holy Smites. Alright. Alright. Spirit Lash. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, like, here's the thing. Is that, like... In terms of sweepery things, it's really just the Dragonfire Potions that I have, and the Shadow Madnesses and the Potion of Madnesses. And so, I I'm happy running the these two Primordial Drakes, because they'll be fi they'll, they'll come out as taunts, which is very important to me. Potion of Madness. Over the Forbidden Shaping. Did I pick the right deck? Hope I did. Nice. They get the correct one. Here we go. Tyranda versus Garrosh. Victory or death. Can no one give me strength? I am feeling lucky. I am feeling lucky. So I'm gonna hold on to this silence. I'm feeling lucky. I think we're gonna rip a Barnes. There we go. Feeling lucky. Yeah. I, I mean, the Primordial Drake doesn't have synergy with Barnes. But outside of that, I think it's fine. Um, I mean, like, I don't think I want to overload the focus on to Barnes. Barnes is like one piece to it. Being able to do things with lots of mana and being able to have good plays leading up to there, I think is just as important. Okay, so we're going to do this and hopefully get... Um, Eternal Servitude's going to be the right play here. Player 19 said, do you think more about Mill Warrior and decide against it? Um, I mean, I just haven't done too much between now and <laughs> yesterday. That was really it. It's just, it just has not been enough time. That's really it. A tale of glorious redemption. <laughs> oh my fucking god, that's so funny. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. What do I? Hmm. Draw. It's, I don't give a shit, man. It's fine. It's fine by me. Oh, it's very funny, man. Hello, you, sir. I really think that the Shadow Madnesses are super clutch in this uh, meta. I, I used to just never run Shadow Madnesses, I just run one. I've been running two a lot, and it's been so nice. Mm. 
Take it, man. I don't give a fuck. I love that there's actually still two Primordial Drakes in this deck. I have an Canuck says, remember that Potion of Madness and Shadow Madness have anti-synergy with Eternal Servitude. Now that's a great point. That is that is the clutchest point of all time right there, man. That's what that is. Do I want to do this one first? I think I might want to just to... Mm, now nah, keep going. Keep growing in gigantism. That is that is a true fact. True facts by Kanak. Warriors of the frozen wastes. That I can handle. Actually want eternal servitude here. Oh man. Maybe I want to cut one shadow magic. This is okay. Not a problem. This is going to be a real pain in the ass for him to deal with. And it makes me feel amazing, baby, now. I, dream I think eight mana is the sweet spot for the forbidden shapings. God, that is just dirty as hell. I think this is a taunt warrior that is not running any taunts. Or, excuse me, not running any quests. Not running any taunts. I think it's a taunt warrior that's running no taunts. It's really hard to smell out, but I managed to successfully do such a, yeah. Ah, War Chief! Hell Scream! Well, let's kill everyone. I think I'm just gonna get another Drake out of this. Damn, that's savage. Ship the dragons. I think I'm lucky enough to avoid any problems with these cards. That was fun. That was fun. I enjoyed that. I'm not going to make the change on the Shadow Madness and the Potion of Madness yet. Not yet. Because I, I think it's actually less bad than it seems, I think. I think it's less bad than it seems. Because if the deck is aggressive that I am playing against. If I have Shadow Madness and Potion of Madness, and I'm able to clear his aggressive cards using them, then I can resummon them before I've even had a chance to summon my huge dudes. Chuck this one down. I think I just do. 
I think I just try to keep the board as clear and happy for myself as possible until turn five when I just start banging down giant men. Okay. Probably just more huge dudes, yeah. Oh. Uh, what do I need out of this? Not sure. <laughs> you want to buy a funnel cake? <laughs> Well, what the shit? This is this is a dead card. It's a dead card. I don't know what this guy is. He's like, I'm gonna summon dragons. I'm pirate rogue! Like, what are you? What pick pick a thing, man. I don't believe that you tried this year for Halloween. Pretty sure I was playing Diablo 3. Not sure what Rob is playing. The world may never know. This is actually somewhat painful for us, but I'm gonna have to summon the six mana card. Depending on what he does here. And a pass. Well, that just sucks a lot of ass. This dragon is like weirdly hard to deal with. I mean, I think I might actually lose this game. Hmm. Uh, did I die? I think I died. I think I'm- I think I'm dead. Alright, let's do a little- let's do- a, let's make a prayer circle. So I do this, everything dies, but this lives, and then he can just deal five. I'm gonna YOLO it. Okay. Um, nothing is good about any of this. Okay. It is finished. Okay. I mean, the low end does seem like where the scariness happens. See, I'm scared to run like two. Well, I don't know if I'm supposed to read into that too much. I mean. He says, this is one reason you don't want the drakes. You're really counting on pulling out the obscene statues from barns early to help keep you alive. Well, for one, that was for Shadow Essence, and for two, he sapped it. So, I mean, I don't think that the... I want to read too much into that. The thing that's weird is that, like, that... I, I, don't, I don't want to read into that one too much, because... That happened to be a rogue who was running a Twilight Drake. See, I'm putting in Deathwing Dragon Lord because it has synergy with Primordial Drakes and Ysera. I'm trying to figure out how to how to focus the synergy of the deck because if I have fewer high end cards, then I have more consistent Shadow Essences and I have more consistent Eternal Servitudes and more consistent Barns. But if I spread out a little bit, like it's kind of a little dicey to go all in on these two and this one to help draw me things. You know what I mean? So I want to do some study on the list. I 
I guess the Shadow Visions increase some possibilities here, but... Um, I could cut Deathwing Dragonlord and the Primordial Drakes and just be more focused in that regard. I don't know about these smites, but yeah, I'm just running them anyways. Deathwing Dragon Lord is an awesome card. I'm a fan of it. So I'm feeling okay against this particular list. If we can get one or two huge dudes out. Deathwing Dragon Lord feels really good. I really like it. Well, that's good. I don't know if these are excessive. I feel like... Are there any other cards that can summon big big dude? Big dude things? Big dude things? He's doing his thing. I'm doing my thing. Feels good. Alright, here we are. Hello. Hi. Spectacular. Hi. Oh my god, I have the sweetest little cats in the whole world. Spectacular. Kingar Spectacular. Hello. Twix Twilit B. Keep summoning the big dudes. Hello, Despy. Cat butt. Despy! <laughs> this cat is so cute! Oh my god, this cat has just been so thirsty for attention, man. Got a little reality peeking through. No problem, no problem. We're having a relaxy cat, cat tummy timey day. Crispy. Oh, hold on, let me finish my coffee before you stick your head in there. She loves coffee cups, especially when they're dry. Oh, it's the pen you want. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's my keyboard. That's my keyboard. Okay. All right, we're gonna we're hitting some collisions. We're getting some collidatory results. Whoa! whoa. Oh, and she's upside down. Okay. By the elements combined. Oh god, we have a little we have a little pineapple upside down cat. Tummy time. We're having the most intense tummy time right now. Yes. Oh, little shrimpy cat. This is this is my day, man. This is a good day. I love when she just a little paws out like that. It's so cute. Garrett, where you're the frozen worst. This be. Oh. Just seriously, anytime I say the cat's name, she just responds now. Look, this be. Yeah. I dream in a world train. I just like silencer. Oh, hello. All right, goodbye. Meow. Well, I'll guess I'll just get a Ysera. And I'm back. Woo! 
Whew. That's, these are good cards to get. This is kind of why I like Deathwing Dragon Larad. Dragon Nerd. I think I just do this. And go in and do that. It's not the most ideal, but you know, I, think it's, I think it's the best I can do. I don't know how I'm running. I'm just so hot with these. You win. I can rest now. You win. I can rest now. Primordial Drakes, I'm starting to feel a little bit less excited about. Sean's big priest. Uh, I, think, I don't know if I want two of these in there. I feel like something else low. Maybe this. Not great. You know, let me. I just want to give this a shot. I mean, I, I really like this combo because it's just so thick. It's just so thick. I don't really think I want too many free from Amber, so I don't think that that's where the problem is lying. I think I need some sort of defensive card. Or defensive card. Maybe even just like a priest of the feast or something? Something like this, this seems fine. The thing here's the thing that's weird about Pine Size Potion plus Shadow Word Horror is that um, you need both to be able to do the mega combo, and I don't have a lot of draw, so putting in two copies of each is kind of like saying, well, we're hoping to draw it once during the game, or we need a lot of synergy with the Pine Size Potion. Shadow Word Horror can do good stuff on its own, so this is kind of why I'm also leaving in two Potions of Madness and one Shadow Word Madness and the Shadow Word Pains. Pine Size Potion can also have some synergy there, but it's not really great. Player 9TV says, so I'd like you decided against Free From Amber, but what's your thought on that card not being the right fit? I mean, I put in one. And I mean, my, my basic summary is that, um... Once upon a time. Um... Basic thought is that, like, uh, this feels strong enough. Down here seems, seems weak, is basically it. And, um, if I have... I, I just like Fruit from Amber as a card. I don't want to use coin shadow word horror because I have pine size potion, so huzzah. I think you'd have to drop Dragon Lord for the free from Amber. The reason I like Dragon Lord is that um, he has synergy with himself. <laughs> it's like a huge reason. He just self synergizes. Right? I Barnes a Deathwing Dragon Lord. And then later I draw a Deathwing Dragon Lord. And then I resummon a Deathwing Dragon Lord with Eternal Servitude. So I just get multiple Deathwing Dragon Lords. 
Multi Synergy. Yeah, hi. My name is Multi Synergy. Destroy all minions. Destroy enemy minions. Crispy. Ah. Hello. Look at this little cat. What about um, Nazoth? Maybe Nazoth would be really powerful in this deck due to the fact that I would summon multiple obsidians and multiple dragon wing death lurds. Have you played at all with the new dragon that gives you another dragon? I haven't. I haven't. And it looks actually quite nice. No! No, 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 no! Oh my god. Fuck yeah, dude. Boom! It's a dragon! Shut the fuck up. I had no idea that was a dragon. I hate learning new cards. I've been playing this shit for four days, five days now. Oh, for dick's sake, it's a dragon. I'm like about to die, dude. No, I can hear every noise you're making. I've heard it all, Despy. What what do you want? Oh god, the cat wants to play string. So Alright, this is everything's about to hurt. Fuck! Okay. Alright, I think I think I think I have a... New nickname, which is Disaster Priest. This... Fuck. <laughs> Everything really sucked a lot here. Well, how lucky is Sean? So lucky, Obsidian Statue, one time! One time. One fucking time, please. Okay. Alright, I kind of botched first few turns because I mismathed. I actually had the opportunity to Shadow Word, uh, uh, Shadow fucking Potion into Shadow Word Horror. I had the opportunity to do that earlier. I just didn't. Whatever. For me, for me, I always feel like it takes me ten games with the deck to actually feel like I understand what the hell the deck's supposed to be doing. Give me strength. Elune, give me strength. Shadow word Hodor. You want to hear the most Hodor thing ever? I am not even caught up on Game of Thrones. I'm behind 2.5 seasons. I've only seen season 1, 2, 3, and 4. This deck operates slightly differently than I thought it would, but that's fine. Sean, what? Sean! Sean! Shut up, you know, it's not nearly as bad as when I tell people that I've never seen the original Star Wars movie. What, Sean? 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 Yeah, I haven't seen that shit, man. I haven't even seen any of the new ones. I saw the one with the pod racers, and then I saw the third one. I didn't see the second one. I haven't seen four, five, and six, and I haven't seen seven or eight. I haven't seen any of them. I, I just don't watch them. I uh, I don't do I the I don't Star Wars. I don't do it. It's not that I don't want to do it, but I didn't do it. I didn't. I did. I don't. I haven't done it. I don't do it. I mean, it's not something that I I will refuse to do at all points. I just haven't done that. I'm just not that person. Now, what I did see yesterday and the day before. 
a four episode series on Netflix called you Castlevania. And it was totally fine. It was just actually not the best at all. It was not really a good show. It was not. It was. I thought it was so bad. And I enjoyed it. It was so bad. Holy shit, man. Dude, these dialogue scenes, let me tell you something about the dialogue scenes. Rewatch Castlevania, because the entire series is 80 minutes long. You know, the whole th series, the whole series, right? Like, every time two characters start talking to each other, I want you to time that conversation, and then I want you to start the conversation over and watch half of it, and notice that they said everything they needed to say in the first half. It's gratuitous. Like, I just started to notice how long every dialogue sequence in that damn thing was, man. Yeah. I mean, I enjoyed it, like because the the animation was spectacular and the action sequences were really awesome. It was really interesting, and I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it for what it was. I enjoyed those pieces of it. Now, in terms of dialogue and plotting, can't can't go in with high expectations. The dialogue and plotting can't go in. Can't go in with those. You can enjoy the animation quality, but you can't go and expect the dialogue and the plotting to be good. Battery sufficiently charged. Thanks, phone. I was gonna show you, but it's plugged in. So, I accidentally... Well, we got a problem. He's, he's gonna hit us with the drawl. Shadow Madness. Oh, it's time to get your Sarah Awakens! Is Sean the luckiest? No. No, he is not. Player 9 says, I mean, it's a vampire show. How could can the dialogue be? <laughs> Dark Thunder says, if you played Symphony of the Night, good dialogue is not what Castlevania does. Dude, point well taken. What is a man but a miserable little pile of secrets? I think I'm about to die. I don't know, is this, is this deck shit? Is this a shit deck? Is this a shit version of a good deck? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um... Is this deck bad? Do we run a bad deck? Maybe I am a bad deck. Maybe everything about the deck is a bad deck. Yes, yeah, Sarah awakens and then I think I've gotta do this, baby, now. Oh my god, CatBert321 has popped his 77 month resub. CatBert321. I truly think that you're the one. I just run one with one, which sucks. What does this deck need, huh? I need to do some adjustments. You know, I, I, think, I think I know what I want to do. me think. You know, you know, I think I think a priest of the feast is what I'm missing here. Mm. He's gonna poke me in the eye. I think I, think I need some priest do of the feast do. Priest was made for walking. I just need some bursty heals. Cause I'm I, I feel actually quite weak in the low end. Do I actually want this combo bullshit? I don't think I do. I don't actually think that that's a good combo. I think. Oh, I just looked up priest when I'm making a priest deck. Okay. Let me let me just look up feast. There we go. I think I just need it for the heals. Now I think two smites seem good. I just really don't like the other deck. I'm gonna do something like this. Priest, show me priest cards. All right, now I think we're ready to go. Da, 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 da. 
You know, one thing I've not considered is that Shadow Visions can very possibly earn us extra Shadow Word Horrors and extra Potion of Madnesses. That is, in fact, a very good point. That plant is incredible. Now, how lucky are we? So lucky. I'm just going to rip the barns right off the top, man. Right off the top. It's the ideal situation with the Deathwing. I don't get what your plan is. Well... See, I have a dragon, and he makes dragons, but Deathwing has synergy with himself because there's multiple ways to summon him before he comes out onto the board. So, like, for instance, if I Shadow Essence and get a dragon and then resummon a dragon when he's in my hand, it's like pretty sick. Yeah. And the is the only thing I worry about with your Priest of the Feast is it can dilute your Barnes pulls. I actually think it's the opposite. I actually think it makes for better Barnes pulls because I can pull a Priest of the Feast out. And then it'll die as a 1 1, and then I can reget it with Eternal Servitude. And it's it's quite good now. Because the, the problem with this is that I just keep not quite being able to get my huge fucking men out. That, that I think is the problem. And so, just the ability to protect and to get some huge men out is... is tight. I like Deathwing Dragon Lord. I think he's cool. I wonder... See, if I cut the Shadow Madness and the two Holy Smites, I need to cut one more card to put in the two pine sized potions and horrors. Do I even need this silence? I feel like, I feel like the combo's just too funny. Also, it's just nice to be able to clear a taunt. Whew! Could a Shadow Word Death? Mm. This is dangerous. So many possibilities. Oh, Despie's back. She's upset. All right, guys, we beat AFK players. Feels really positive. Yes, we did it. We beat an AFKer. AF, 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 K, K, K. Is Sarah good? Is Sarah's great. Who do we appreciate? Oh. The Priest Death Knight? I, I just don't think any of that... None of that sounds like what this deck needs. This deck is like, try to ramp into huge shit and kill him with huge shit. And Shadow Reaper Anduin is like this. When the game goes very long, I will gradually ping for value slowly over time. Like, imagine you have Shadow Reaper Anduin played. You're going to Hero Power for 2 with Void Form. And then, you're going to... Play something that is six or less, and then void form again. I mean, I don't have a lot of plays that are six or less that feel good at all. So, I mean, if I play Shadow Reaper Anduin, and I play, like, Lich King, I can just hit once. Yeah, it's, it's just really hard for me to see any synergy um, that Shadow Reaper Anduin would have. Plus, the, I mean, you're, you're noting there's not a lot of draw in this deck at all. Well, I should say there's literally no card that actually draws you a card from your deck, so. Chipsy says, true, but honestly, wouldn't you say the battle cry is worth it in itself? What um, what not really, because it's, I would rather keep his board mostly clear and then spend three and have seven mana left over. Then I would spend eight, clear some of the board, 
and not be able to do anything else in that turn. If you got Shadow Reaper and Raza in there, that sounds pretty cool. Sounds pretty cool, man. I wish you could upgrade Void Form. <laughs> you know, my Gug also says another great point. Increase your power helps keep your big dudes alive, too. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Let the pain spark to me. Alright, we're gonna kill this guy, I think. This guy is gonna get big. Justicar True Heart. Oh, how I miss Justicar. Oh, oh, hey, thanks, Lego Shrimp. Thanks, man, for the 900 bits. So this feels nice to be able to run out of 3-6 and to have resurrection potential. I don't actually know how good Shadow of Horror Potion of Madness, not Potion of Madness, Pints of Potion is. I don't actually know how good it is. Because the thing, the thing that hurts is that, like, I don't know how frequently I'll draw it. I do have Shadow Visions, which is kind of helpful. Blazer Razor says, you're paying the best Death Knight hero so far. I haven't even played much, but I'm curious what you think. So the Rogue one seems okay. That's a boring game. Rogue One seems okay. Let's see, Rexar seems okay. I haven't played with Jaina. Uther seems really good. Warlock is insane. Welcome back. Um, Andalin seems quite good. Uh, Furion seems quite good. I, I think I think I would say a warlock. I think warlock is just ridiculous. So kind of you to join me. I, I truly think he is like re damn dickless. Yeah, I think I'd say Gul'dan. Gul'dan. Healing. Bye. 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 Yeah, the Warlock hero power is deal three damage. Shit. Nice. Nice! Here he comes, here comes the dragon. Yeah, and the Warlock also resummons all the demons that died this game. So it's really nice. You kind of have to set it up, but you just go like twisting another Doomsayer and then Gul'dan. Blazer Razor says, what makes you say a Warlock craft a golden one on the first day? And I've tried it since to make it work, but I can't seem to fit him into a deck that works. Maybe I'm just bad. I'm, I'm, the deck that I have climbed most with. Uh, let's see, what's my record with my Warlock? 24 and 12. It's just an incredibly, incredibly strong, strong, strong. Strong, strong, strong. Yeah, did you bring, did you bring the string? Is it somewhere over here? You didn't bring me anything, you're just meowing. 
Oh no, you brought me your feather. See, she's got a little feather. Hmm. Oh, runs out on me. All right. Boost. All right. So I'm gonna have some guys crash into some guys. do this, I basically get Barnes or the Lich King. Am I really that worried about this? Probably. Actually, doing this first this seems fine. Let's try to get rid of the Lich King. Alright, we got Barnes. Tonight, a tale of Alright, we got cats up here. Hello, Despy. Hello, Despy. We're taking damage, Despy. Maybe I fucked up. Thought this was maybe risky. Maybe I was correct. It sucks to be correct. We'll get Eternal Servitude. Rip the Priest of the Feast and heal up on up. Okay. I mean, I can shadow visions to get... That fucking blows. I needed to make sure I didn't take a lot of damage coming up, because we're getting into the danger zone. Why not steal card draw? You guys are greedy, man. You guys are greedy as hell. I mean, I have a huge advantage. Just trying to minimize damage dealt to me, because I think it's really the only way we lose. For example... Damn. I think I gotta do this. Hmm. Well, maybe I can begin the longest journey back to health. Hello, Despy. What? 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 What is that? Oh my God! Is it? Is it's? It's, it's a foot. Go cool. investigate. Go investigate, Despy. I a foot. Wow, Despy. Here, I'll pet you now. It's your turn to meow. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> oh, okay. Always the slow roller. I think overall I do like the Priest of the Feast edition into this, because, like, um, I think it's giving me stability where I need it. Oh, little brown cat's tanning. This cat literally lies in the sun for, like, four hours a day. Sheriff just likes to be warm and likes to eat. 
Despi likes being Run. really close and quiet. Maybe I actually... You know, if I have the Priest of the Feast, I can accept a little more damage and... It's a priest. I can accept a little more damage and go for the pint-sized potion. Shadow Word Horror thing. I might give that a shot. I'm trying to think of what I would cut there. I don't really think I need the silence. I think it's like a bit greedful. Which says, do you prefer the Priest of Feast healing over Burst of Greater Healing Potion? Yeah, definitely. It's a dude on the board. He can come back with Eternal Servitude. And the only really way I have in the mid game to defend is to have dudes on the board. So, I, I quite like it. He sees he sees Deathwing Dragon Lord. He's like, there's no way that's in the deck. Oh damn. You know, oh, come on. I'm really bad at drawing barns in my shadow essences. Or my Shadow Visions and my Shadow Essences. So this deck does not run... His deck does not run, like, any expensive cards. Or I should say high damage cards. That could be nice. Seems great. Alright guys, slow crawl to eight mana. <laughs> Forbidden shaping hasn't really been an all-star. Doomsayer. Is Kazakis, Glimmeru, Doomsayer, Crystal and Oracle. Fine, it's fine, it's all fine. Ah, ah! Yes, and so it begins the big priest. Obliteration commencing. Doom Pack sucks for me. Get this eternal shmerbitude going. This will do. The dragon shall blur, 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 blur. Fill a cat. Oh, he's gonna try to hit me for billions. All right, little cat. Where do you want to lie down? Do you want to lie down on the keyboard? Why is that? Put your little head right here. There it is. That's good. Well, we're about to get OTK. Time. The 
Adams grow short. Hey, sweetheart. You upside down? Blessed be this funnel cake. out on two damage but it's fine. Burst healing. Oh wait what's going on? Just relax. Here I'm just gonna put my little hand here, okay. Despy likes to just have a hand on her tummy. She's flicking her little tail. Hi Des. She sleeps on my hand. I, I like sleep with my one hand like this and one hand out like this and then she just sleeps on this hand. I just like wake up with a nice warm hand every day. Dude, Anduin's so cool. Yep, that's the ideal order in which you should do that. Because then it kills this, and that comes down. Previously, if both the statue and our dragon friend died... play Forbidden Shaping there. Trying to avoid the Obsidian Statue kill on Ysera. Because if, if Deathwing Dragon Lord dies and Obsidian Statues die at the same time, Ysera comes down and gets killed by Obsidian Statue. So that's why. So there's your reason right there. There it is. I see gold. This is so cool, this Raza Hero Power Schnitzel. I, I think I want to do Sarah Awakens here. I think Deathwing Dragonlord sucks. I think I need to cut him. I think he needs to get out. I like him, though. I like him. Kind of want to find another dragon to get in. I don't know if there are any good dragons. Mm hmm. Gotta make this death. Shadowy thoughts. Ha! <laughs> Shadowy thoughts. He just says it. He just blurts it out. Shadowy thoughts. Hey, what's uh, what's uh, what? What are more dragons we can get up in this deck? What are some more sweet ass dragons that actually do stuff for us? Mm. Mm. Bone Drake is all the dragons. Maybe, maybe Bone Drake. Kind of like Primordial Drake. It's just nice to have a Tonto. Tonto Pronto. The shadows grow short. Shadowy thoughts. 
Aaron McGear, Sheer to Wheat there. It's, you know, maybe Dragon is actually fine. Lucky is Sean. So lucky. Hmm. No. Uh. I don't know why he's just not shooting you, Sarah, dude. Shooting you, Sarah, would actually be painful for us. Heeding my call. Tortola, preserve us. I shall bring you rest. It's gonna be a long game. Zoth seems pretty cool. These forbidden shapings haven't felt incredible to me. Mm -hmm -hmm. Tortola, preserve. A game. So kind of you to join me. I want to die. <laughs> I really want to die right now. What is a loon's will? I'm gonna try again next game. It is finished. Get me out of this game. You I don't want to be in this game anymore. <sighs> I don't want to even be in this game anymore. This is maybe more valuable than I think do the Shadow Visions. <laughs> Blazer Razor says I missed it. Well, I, uh, he played a dude and he had the 2-6 that when it dies it gives plus one plus one. So I was going to Potion of Madness to steal it, hitting his own Medivh and giving my Obsidian Statue plus one plus one. And then I accidentally just clicked on my silence. So she like silenced it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ba 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 ba. Actually, maybe I'll keep forbidden shaping just in case. Ah, oh, yes. His was a silence of three parts. Yeah, it kind of hurts. The first game I played with this deck was fun. Everything since then has been unbelievably not fun. Been no fun. I wonder. Tangar Wondar. Gotta get some water, gotta get some coffee. Oh. Battle of Awesome, I think it's because we're making changes mm. to dilute it, so the fun goes down a lot. Dilute it? I mean, this this deck is pretty focused. What do you mean, what do you mean about that? Like, we don't want to have too many different targets, we want to have a lot of consistent big targets.
pretty pretty clear deck, I think. I think I think only now, now that I've put in these things, it's sort of what meandered around a little bit. I think this is actually the most clear and focus it's been. Because I'm starting to realize that the error I made with Shadow Word Horror and Pine Size Potion is I, f is I forgot Shadow Visions is in there. There's like light synergy with Pine Size Potion and Potion of Madness, and I formerly had a. Uh, you um, regret this. The four mana one. He fucked up. Priest of the Feast and Deathwing dilute a lot. Our Barnes is semi bad now, I feel. I think Priest of the Feast is really good with Barnes. He's not he's not the best, but I can resurrect him with eternal serv servitude and we've been having health problems in virtually all matchups. I think it's I think it's great. Because I think that, like, in terms of what the way that we win, the way that we win is by getting big dudes out. But we also need to ask ourselves, how do we lose, and therefore how do we try to prevent that from happening? And a card like Priest of the Feast is like a bridge card, because you'll see in every single time I died without, um, every single time I have died without Priest of the Feast, it's been sort of pathetically petering out. Maybe I should be aggressively mulliganing for Barnes. Every one of these games has been like ungodly slow. Just forbidden shaping. Player nice says, I think your win condition is weak. A wave or two of big guys is not in this meta. I mean, what do you mean by a wave or two? This this deck has like lots of repeated huge dudes dropping down for inexpensive amounts. I mean, double Eternal Servitude, double Shadow Essence. If I could draw them, it would be super sick. Uh, so it's the, one of these priests, so I do need to kill this right now. I actually have quite a lot of large dudes. I mean, the thing is that, like, I, I, I actually, I mean, I know that I was building this on my own right now, but I, I, it is just not dissimilar to, I really love Pine Size Potion right now. This, this just does not look or feel dissimilar to other lists in the slightest. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Played that many games with this thing. How have we played? Oh, we've played eight. We've gone three and five. I feel like we've been losing a lot more than that. Three and five is actually fine given how much we've been changing it. Well, I think you all know what card I want. I want the pint sized potion. Is this is fine, and then I can do this if it doesn't work. It worked. There's only two differences between your deck and my deck. That's you took out two priests of the feast and replaced it with one group of healing potion. One shadow of Brandolin. You also moved a Dragonwing Death Lord and put in a something. I don't know what you put in in place of that. Virtually identical decks. Hey, look at all these cards I have. Wonder. 
two, 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 two. Is there another card I'm running in there? Somehow this looks like a 29 card list. We both have Forbidden Shapings, both have a Silence, both have two pint sized potions, both have two potion of madness, we both have two of those, both have two shower with pain, two shower with death, both have a Barnes, although I've never drawn it. Both have two shower with suititudes, I have two priests of feast, you don't, so you put in a greater healing potion, we both have two shower with horrors, we both have two dragon fires, we both have two shadow essences, we each have one free from amber, we each have a lich king, you put in shadow reaper. And one of two obsidian statues. What the fuck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. What the? Two, four. I, I, I don't understand how this is possible. How in the shit is this possible? Wait, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How 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 am I fucking this up? Hey Barnes, good to see you, man. I wonder. Working. It's working for once. Two flipping chicken mark. Oh, that's right. There we go. Holy shit. Oh, oh my god. Whew. Oh, oh my god. Oh, holy cow. What up? My name is Ysera! Hello. My god, we did it. Oh my god, we actually are gonna win a game. This is unbelievable. like the way the deck is supposed to work. Give me the other one. Give me the other white charge. In. Here he comes. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. Oh. Games with the big priest. It took us a while to iterate. I like the priest of the peace. Feel nice. Feel good. Akriel says, anyone else getting artifacting when Anduin hero powers? Oh, you're it's not that you're getting it and other people are getting it. That's what's being displayed on my screen is artifacting. Teranda versus Alright, Grosh. Alright. My dear Alright. Dear RN Jesus in Luckland. Please provide to me a wonderful, wondrous, incredible Barnes, and I'll be the happiest boy in the whole world. I'm gonna get coffee during the next break. I'm all out of coffee, I'm all out of water, man. I got no I got no liquids. No liquids to help fuel me. 
to fuel this fool. You know, I kind of want to try a mid-range hunter. I like mid-range hunter. I learned something the other day. I learned something. It actually, it actually felt good to learn. Oh my god, so shouldn't you hard mulligan for Barnes? Maybe that's what I'm doing erroneously. Maybe I should just mulligan hard for Barnes every single time. Because I'm doing more conservative mulligans, you know, keeping combo pieces and shit. Um, what was I talking about? Um, I learned something recently, which is that I uh, was running a face hunter list, which is sort of like my watch TV and just get light hum of endorphins list. And I finally understand now why so many lists will run double Hungry Crab, double Galaka Crawler that are aggro. Because a lot of the aggro lists have cards that proc on other creatures, like Crackling Razor Maw, Upgrade a Beast, Houndmaster, give a beast plus two, plus two. Or a lot of the, um... um what the hell are they called? A lot of the, um, uh, token druidy things that are trying to get Mark of the Lotus out. Or they're trying to get, um... Uh, Power of the Wild out. The way that those decks would wind up losing is if they could not activate those procs. And therefore... Running Hungry Crabs and Galaka Crawlers are the best cards to counter the other decks that would be able to get better board control than you. Does that make sense? Like, if I can keep any creatures alive, I get value out of Crackling Razor Maw or Mark of the Lotus or the Houndmaster. If I can keep anything alive, then I start to get value. So even though, on average, a Galaka Crawler is a little worse than other cards of its similar cost, it's so important to have any presence at all there. I thought that was that was a nice learning experience for me, Sean David Plot himself. I think I potion of madness, crash this shit in, right? Get this puppy out. <laughs> Fucking interesting, okay. So, you know, this this uh, face hunter that I was running had double blood sail, corsair, double hunter, crab, double uh, other guy. I'm gonna serve a two to have so many Lich Kings, do you have no idea? You're clicking in the background, that's great. It's great, man. Landfest still continues, although we're we're sort of in the middle of our work days, so you know, shit happens. Crash in everybody. I think this is the most insane card in the magic shell. right here. Yes! This 
is five. getting huge shit. That's great. So now we can deal 14, 19... The manor heal. I'm gonna stab myself in the neck. Countered. All right, I'm I'm getting increasingly sold on this. I'm gonna get some water and some coffee. Look at this, I'm becoming more skillful than I ever have. What's Rob doing? Rob is on his little lunch work break. Little late afternoon lunch work break, and you know what is about as long as a lunch break? A game of Dota 2. Job's done. Just playing Shadow Fiend mid. Rob played uh, on Sunday 10 games of Dota and went 10 and 0. <laughs> The funny thing is, uh, Rob was playing a character he doesn't typically play, a character called Shadow Fiend. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to say Shadow Fiend, I meant to say Viper. I don't know, I fucked the joke up, man. Yeah, I, I introduced Rob to Viper, and Rob spent all of Sunday flying into a rage. Johnny Rice has watched whole of TI7. Great job hosting, by the way. Oh, thank you. I thought... I thought my hosting was fine. I thought I did a fine job hosting. It was totally okay. Hosting's really interesting and weirdly different from almost any other form of uh, being on camera. Because take, for instance, me right now. You have me continuously for, like, 20 minutes. Um, oh, why is it 20 minutes? It's, it's eight hours, okay? But, like, look at, say, 20, 30 minutes of me. Just Let's talk about a chunk of time where it's 30 minutes. In this period of time, I can be a little goofy, focus on the game, be a little calm, be quiet. I can do all of those transitions as a normal person would, and you look and experience it, and it's totally fine. But you have to be really careful about contrast if you are doing different elements. So, for instance, let's say it co goes to me, and I hear that, Sean, you're going to be out in two minutes. Lay out in two minutes. What I can't do is I can't... Hey, what's up? Be super wacky and goofy and crazy. Hey, what's up? Okay, it's good to be here. Oh, for the International Seven. Ah, okay, let's go to the game. 
everyone will be like, what the fuck was that, right? It's, it's harder to do extreme ends of behavior the shorter you're on air. Give me you, Sarah! It's actually hard to do. So, um, the same goes for with conversational bits. If there's like, say, three minutes or four minutes where we're on air, I want to make sure that each person gets a chance to... Um, gets a chance to talk, and then three minutes is up. So I'm like, oh, okay. Melt 4 says, watching host was super weird. You were wearing a suit and you didn't swear even once. Dude, I swore a lot on <laughs> on air. Well, not a lot, but I certainly swore when I was on air. I'm surprised you didn't hear that. And it's not that it's, like, necessarily difficult or challenging or, like, oh, you know how hard it is to do that. It's just, it's, it's weird how little opportunity there is to... Do normal conversational stuff if you're hosting. A lot of hosting is just like very functional shit. Unless we have more free time, but you know, they're pretty good about not having free time. On with the show. On with the show. I am now swipe proof. Was Lord Gaming Match for saying the fuck word? No, no one said anything. Everyone's fine with it. Can I obliterate him for 24? Am I allowed to do that? I only want 5, 4, and 3. This is 9, 12, 12, and 10. Not quite enough. Milk Forest is maybe you didn't register compared to the stuff you say on the show. Yeah, it would have been weird if I was just like, Hey everyone, holy fucking fuck, that was a crazy match, and let's go into the next game. <laughs> just, it was, the, it was the okayest hosting of all time. Totally the most neutral, fine, uneventful hosting that there ever were. We killed him. Serious as thought, uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, Fitz, was this a J9 create from scratch deck or based on something? It was based on people I played against. I've just been up against this deck before. Yeah, I didn't get fired. That was good. No firing for me. Woo! Next joke. That was the best part of the entire broadcast. Was the next joke. If you haven't played next, it's not funny. But if you played next, it's great. Next, 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 next. I really wish Brown Boots Dagon was better. I just shoot this guy. 
This, this is an Exodia deck, so it doesn't have a lot going on. I just need to hurry up and kill him. Alright, it's another one of these games, another one of No Barnes O'Clock games. <sighs> you wanna cast a spell? I wanna cast a spell. Oh dude, Age of Empires 4 announced? Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, was that played from his hand? Oops, I accidentally changed the resolution on the screen. This matchup is very bad. Come on. Why Shar J one time? Age of Empires 4, like, officially announced, man. Where were you? Uh, I, think, I think we just, we really are dead. God, we're so dead. And I have to just wait for him to just draw his cards. Play all his things, man. I think the only way we win is if we somehow get Deathwing out. Rip a Dwayne. On with the show. Oh. Well, I can kill it. Can't kill it. Okay. Okay. Well, this sucks because we, we just automatically know it's a mirror entity. Just better run this statue out. Fast. Job done. Not mere entity, so sick, so thick, so unbelievably thick. Go Welkdar. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, the problem is this just tries to kill you in one turn. I think the meta is really interesting at the moment. I have not found druids as horrific as other people have. Maybe that's just because I've been piddling around. Maybe it's because I'm fucking right. Maybe. Vaporize. Now. The 
winningest play would have been the Dragonwing Deathlord coming out, so we have Viscera down, but now I'm just going to try to resummon him. Two Y Sharjays is better than one. I wonder. Someday I'll be just like you. Server 2 value, man. Server 2 value. Yeah, see? Server 2. You guys aren't thinking big enough. Please enjoy that Shadow Word. That's that's why we. That's why we we did this thing. And we probably are still fucking dead, but you know, shit happens. Or maybe you just should have blown it out with a dragonfire potion. Maybe that was actually a huge mistake. Great, man. I don't think I have any more dudes in there. I got the Priest of the Feast, which is pretty tight. This is fine. Yeah, don't we just, like, basically win if we... Death Lord! Yes. And now I don't think he can Exodia me, right? He's exodia -less? I mean, he could also be the Arcane Giant guy, but... I hope you like my invention. This is proving to be helpful at this point. All gone. Oh sweet, that mill value. value. I should have potion of madness to bring him to one. Well, I think we have a winning board position! I think he just doesn't know the deck. I think he doesn't know the play that gives him the win, which is the... My hand is full. I don't want to know. I don't want to have done this. <sighs>
pretty funny. Cold Light Oracle is one of my strongest cards, of course. We lost. Antonitis has just been drawn and maybe no spells. Okay. <laughs> I'm supposed to have like a 0% win rate in that matchup anyways. It's too bad it, I was tempted with a 5% win rate. Now, what I want to do is I want to switch decks, because I'm a little tired of this one. Let's see. Go lock up. Hungry Crab. And let's see here. You're great. Uh, how does this deck go? It's like this, and I think this. It runs like... So these two, I think it runs that. I'm going to come back to you. I'm pretty sure it runs this. And it runs these, and this, and this, I think. Maybe it doesn't run those. But what is this thing? It runs this, it runs you, it runs this man. Fuck. Oh. And I'm forgetting a card. There we go. So I, I'm gonna try to run this one. I think this is right. I think this is right. I think this is the right the right build. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick break. It's gonna be what we call a micro break. No, it's not. It's gonna be a more reasonable break. It's gonna be very reasonable, very acceptable, very typical break. It's gonna be three minutes. It's gonna be three minutes. This is enough for a day nine to use a restroom. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. 